welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Cece please make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification just on our way to our third stop at Matopo National Park in Zimbabwe so the next stop is actually Cecil John Rhodes's grave just about to go all the way up to where the grave is and we were actually called over because it turns out we needed to make another payment so we did make a payment coming into the national park but it turns out you actually need to make another payment when you're inside to actually visit some of the historical sites i needed to see this grave especially after all the controversy surrounding cecil john Rhodes. i know in south africa there were protests calling uh, for the statue of cecil john Rhodes um, on the steps of the university of cape town to be taken down and the students were calling for its removal with a famous hashtag which was um, hashtag roads must fall trending and um, this was in 2015 and then in April the statue was actually removed and in the UK um, the Oxford statue was also the target of the roads must fall protest and it argues that roads is a symbol of colonialism and um, the violence that accompanies it so following the protest the university had agreed to actually remove the statue but um, they <laughs> angered campaigners uh, because they were accused of backtracking um, on their previous decision to remove it instead of removing the statue the university of oxford decided to add an explanatory plaque on the statue which says that Rhodes was a committed British colonialist who obtained his fortune through exploitation of minerals, land and people of Southern Africa. Some of his activities led to great loss of life, attracted criticism in his day and ever since. That's what the plaque says and actually Rhodes studied at Oriel College at the University of Oxford and he left a hundred thousand pounds which is equivalent to about 12 million pounds in today's money through his will um, in 1902 um, to the college. Rhodes was born in England in 1853. He was ill and weak as a child and his parents feared he had tuberculosis, a disease several of his family members showed symptoms of. At 17, his father decided to send him to a better climate in South Africa in the hope it would help with his health. So he went over to join his brother Herbert on his cotton farm in Natal but the land was unsuitable for cotton and the venture failed so they moved into diamond mining. After making some money Rhodes went back to England and studied at Oriel College Oxford where he graduated at the age of 28. Um, he then went back to South Africa where he got into the Cape Parliament as the Prime Minister of the Cape Colony and this was between 1890 to 1896. He then founded De Beers Diamond Firm with Rudd and Bate which until recently controlled the global diamond trade. Rhodes' dream was to colonise all of Africa under British rule, a plan which was cemented by the Rudd concession in 1888 between King Lobengula, Rhodes and Rudd. The Rudd concession gave Rhodes exclusive mining rights in Matebeleland, Mashonaland and other territories in what today is Zimbabwe. I think I'll have to do a separate video where I'm actually explaining the reasons why Lobengula actually agreed to the Rudd concession because it, there's so much to it and I feel like it's just going to be too long um, if I put it on here but then I will do something separate uh, which is based on history and uh, some of the sources that I found. When Cecil John Rhodes died in 1902 in Musenberg near Cape Town, he had chosen Madoba Hills as his final resting place. So his body was ferried from Cape Town to Madoba, um, a journey which took about two months to complete. Rhodes' critics see him as a racist and one of the people who helped prepare the way for apartheid by working to alter laws on voting and land ownership. In Zimbabwe, there's still calls to have 
his remains removed from Madoka National Park and sent back to the UK where he was born. How incredible is this view? Apparently Cecil John Rhodes named this place the world's view because it shows a panoramic view of Matopa National Park. Locals that lived here called this place Malindizimu which means the place of benevolent spirits and uh, Matopa Hills is also known to have um, sacred hills where some tribes go to consult with their ancestral spirits. Cecil John Rhodes' grave is not the only one that's here. There's also Dr. Star Jameson, um, Charles Coughlin and the Shangani Memorial. Not everyone says that the grave should go. Um, some people say that the grave attracts tourists who actually bring in an income which helps local villagers and uh, some people in the arts and crafts say that the tourists actually buy from them so they're able to generate an income. Despite this, the general consensus is to have the grave removed and um, some people argue that Rhodes' remains should be sent back to England and they should trade for the remains of Mboyane Handa who actually um, is believed to be in the British Museum. I know last year uh, the current president Mangagwa was calling for the remains to be sent back to England. He told traditional elders that the remains had no importance to the country and suggested that in return for returning the remains, Zimbabwe should get back the remains of the first liberation war heroes, which are believed to be in the British Museum. This includes the remains of Mboya Nehanda, who was a spirit medium and an influential fighter during the liberation struggle. And the British Museum has actually admitted that there may be remains that belong to Zimbabwe. And apparently there are over 20,000 human remains in the British Museum, some of which are currently exhibited. The protest is called hashtag bring back our bones which is calling for the return of the first Chimuranga Liberation War Heroes Bones to be returned back to Zimbabwe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about Cecil John Rhodes. Uh, what do you think should the remains be sent back to the UK? Uh, let me know in the comment section and make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.